what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of fps drops frame drops or stuttering issue currently having with tower fantasy so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will probably know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want you guys to know let you guys know that, that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys you would support my work in youtube a little bit and i'm gonna really really be thankful for that and i'm gonna thank you for that so anyways i would just say let's get right started so uh the first step in order to fix this kind of issue is going to be to open up your task manager by just simply using the shortcut on navigating down to your taskbar you're going to right click it and open up your task manager the next step is going to be to navigate to the top left corner of your screen clicking onto processes just, just to ensure that you're sticking around processes Afterwards, I want you to click onto CPU and end every single task, which is obviously nothing to do with Windows, and um, right-click onto uh, end task, so uh, which is obviously having too much CPU usage at the moment. And I've and also do the same thing for your GPU. And uh, once you did that, I'm going to explain it to you because sometimes on low-end PC or bad PCs, running too many programs at the same time with too many too much GPU or CPU usage will uh, basically lead your PC to FPS drops and frame drops. So what I want you to do is basically close them. And afterwards, I want you to end your task manager. The next step is gonna be to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, opening up your settings, navigating to uh, gaming, and sticking around the Xbox game bar. We'll obviously want you to turn this off because the Xbox game bar doesn't really come with any benefits besides impacting your performance really bad and uh, causing off, off, obviously FPS drops and frame drops. So just turn this off. Next step is gonna be to click onto captures. And what I want you to, to do is you spec basically go to background recording and record the background while I'm playing a game and turn this off. What I want you to do next is going to be really simple. So just uh, turn this off because uh, especially if this is turned on without you knowing that this will impact your performance really bad and you don't want it. So just simply turn this off. And afterwards, I want you to uh, click into game mode and I can't really tell you not to turn this off or on. You need to check it for your system specifically and afterwards go back once and click into update and security where I want you to click into Windows update and check for updates. So just download the latest version of that. I know it's gonna sound a little bit basic, but updating every single driver you could possibly update will help you a lot with like every kind of issue you're currently having. So download the latest version of Windows will help you a lot. Afterwards, end this task and do the same thing for a graphics card. So download the latest version of that and uh, just provide the best possible performance for your PC in general. That's it for the video, guys. I hope that I could actually help you out with this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment, or a subscription. I'm gonna really be thankful for that. And I'm sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just gonna do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one, and bye.